We are back. It is not your typical presidential endorsement, you might say. A Nevada brothel owner announcing he's, quote, this is his quote, pimping for Paul. Moonlight Bunny Rancher owner Dennis Hoff says he's throwing his weight behind Paul for his strong libertarian streak. Paul went on Fox & Friends this week and was asked, was he shocked to get the Bunny Ranch backing? I don't screen anybody who wants to send me money. If they believe in freedom uh, and they want to endorse it and they want to give me money, uh, what they do with their freedom is, is, is their business, but I don't screen people. We got 37,000 donors in one day. Uh, there's no way I could find out uh, what each, each individual believes in. All right, there you have it from Ron Paul, Dennis Hoff, and one of his bunnies, Brooke Taylor, joins me now. Welcome to both of you. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. So what do you think about, in what way are you going about raising money for this candidate? Well, we're doing numerous things. One is if you come into the bunny ranch and you say, I'm pimping for Paul, you get two bunnies instead of one. Two for the price of one. The other thing is we're collecting money. We've got a collection box, and we're collecting money. We're asking all the customers. We're telling them about Ron Paul, and we're asking them to donate. And the last thing is we want to do a fundraiser New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, HBO is going to film an hour show at the Bunny Ranch, and we want Ron to be there and do a fundraiser. Very interesting. Are, are you at all concerned, if you're in favor of this candidate, that you might be bringing negative attention to him? Well, it, absolutely. It's a double-edged sword. But the truth is, because the Bunny Ranch support and girls like Brooke uh, behind him, he's gotten more attention than he has in the past. And it's bringing people in, taking a look. And if you look at Ron Paul and you see that he, he's for states' freedoms, right of choice, and uh, live and let live, people like that. All right. Thank you very much to both of you. Good luck with your uh, political fundraising. Kellyanne. Um, Thank you. A lot of people have been wondering who the supporters are of Ron Paul. The money, you know, keeps pouring in. Now we know a little bit about who's out there supporting him. Who, who are the supporters of Yet Ron Paul? Yet another failure of campaign finance reform. <laughs> it didn't get rid of illegal activity um, helping to give you money. Who is supporting Ron Paul? Really people who are very angry about the war, but do not consider themselves Democrats, who are libertarian. And libertarian is a word that is imbuing itself into the modern political lexicon, I think, a little bit more for the mainstream voters. Um, you have more people in our polls when asked, do you consider yourself conservative, moderate, liberal? We've had to add libertarian over the last 10 years. You have more people gravitating toward that. Right. These are the people who believe in freedom completely. They believe government has a very limited role. They believe in legalizing prostitution by large, legalizing marijuana use. I don't think Ron Paul wants to ascribe himself with those folks, but he does have a lot of the anti-war Republicans yep. giving him literally millions of dollars over the Internet. All right, Father Jonathan, anything wrong? It's legal, well, obviously, prostitution me, in Nevada. Anything say, wrong with them backing this candidate? Let me say this is not exactly my choice of topic to be discussing, <laughs> but I would like, what's the guy's uh, name? What's the guy's name? Well, on the, on this yeah, let me say something to Dennis. Dennis, I've been to Germany to do a lot of in investigation on human trafficking, especially around the World Cup. Let me tell you what, lit and live and let live. You need to li let live those girls that you're working with. You know what? Would you have your oh, daughter me. working excuse with you? Excuse me. Don't I don't think so. Don't I don't the think so. Might let me tell you. It, it might, be, <laughs> it might look good. It might be fun. Nevada. But it's not excuse fun for those me. girls. And it won't be fun for them when they're yeah. trying I'm to be a good a mom time. and a good, good mother. <laughs> She's there because she wants to be there. Excuse yes, me. Yes, that's what they all say, especially the pimps. I've told Dennis more than once that this is about his mother. That she was too controlling. Dennis, didn't I tell yep. you that? I know Dennis Hoff. I Absolutely. told you it was about your mother who was controlling. You said it was. Absolutely. <laughs> but you know what, Keith, you know the girls are there because they want to be. Yes, they all want to be there. It's, yes, exactly. I do because that's be the there. only it's way they can have career. a decent life. A lot of fun. Let, them Let them live. Let them be free. They, All right, they are free. we gotta go. Excuse we gotta me, go. Legal. Thank you very much, uh, Dennis Hoppin and, and Brooke you. Taylor and everybody on this great panel.